Hi guys, in this video series, I'll be showing you how to make a scrolling platformer game in Scratch. So this is part 1 in making a scrolling platformer game in Scratch. So this is a preview of the game. So okay, let's get started. So okay, I have uploaded my player and the BG. And now click on your player and let's make the variables. So X for this part only, Y for this part only, Speed X and Speed Y for this part only. And in air for this part only. And now coins collected for all sprites. Coins max for all sprites. Exit for all sprite. So all the for this sprite only variables are in the lower case, and for all sprites are in upper case. So let's make another variable called level for all sprites. Mouse. All sprites player dying all sprites and scroll X and Y for all sprites scroll Y for all sprites and timer for the speed run for all sprites so okay now we have made all our variables and now let's create a block game on so let's define this game on we need to set our X and Y to 0 speed X and speed Y to 0 and set in air to 0 and then we need to set exit to nothing and we need to set our scroll X and Y to 0 and then we need to set our size to 50 
we need to set our ghost effect to zero and then we need to show and when green flag clicked we need to set our level to one and then we need to show our variable level and we need to set timer to zero and then we need to broadcast two new messages set game and play game so okay I'll minimize the screen and when I receive set game we need to hide and go for front layer hide and go to front layer so now when I receive play game we need to forever broadcast two new messages reset and set up and then game on so then grab a repeat until So repeat until exit is greater than nothing. We need to broadcast a new message called tick and wait. And let's make another block called tick. Run without screen refresh. Play stick here. Let's clean up our blocks. And let's define tick. So grab a if statement. So if grab a O. So if key left press. O key A press we need to point in direction negative 90 and then we need to change our speed X by negative 2 and duplicate this and change this to right arrow key depressed pointing direction 90 and change speed x by 2 so then we need to set speed x to Rubber times so speed x times 0 0.8 and then grab another if statement grab a greater than so if abs of speed x is greater than 0 0.9 then let's make a block change player x by at the input speed x and 
then we need to change our player x by speed x so grab a round operator so round speed x so we need to change our player x by round speed x so now let's define this block We need to go, we need to change our X by speed X and then make another block called position, click OK and position. So let's define this block. We need to go to X and Y, grab a minus, X minus, scroll X, and duplicate this, and change this to Y, and scroll Y. So make sure you set direction to left and right. So now you can see our player moves left and right. So I uploaded the platforms. So okay now let's make a block called position at input x and Y. Now let's define this. We need to go to X and Y. Then grab a if else statement, grab an end equals so if x position equals x duplicate this change this to y position and y we need to show else we need to hide so when I receive tick So when I receive tick, we need to position, grab a minus, so we need to make a radial pull, call X for this sprite only, and Y for this sprite only. We need to position X minus scroll X duplicate this and Y change this to Y and scroll Y so then let's make another block clone at X at an input X Y and Y so we need to clone at X and Y we need to create clone of myself we need to change x by x duplicate and y by y and then next costume and then when we flat clicked, we need to hide. And when I receive reset, we need to delete this clone. And when I receive setup,
set x and y to 0 and then we need to hide and then grab if statement so if level equals 1 then we need to switch costume to level 1 1 and we need to clone at x 360 and y 0 so okay now you can see our level appears and our player can move right and left so that's it for today so in my next video I'll be showing you how to make the level scroll so see you in part 2 in making a scrolling platformer game in scratch and make sure to like subscribe and share